All right. Get your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures, and turn in your authorized version of the scriptures to Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Um, I don't remember if I said this in the previous video I just recorded, but I got uh, expository videos that are being worked on to come out here in the future this week. But uh, this is stuff that the Lord wanted me to deal with today. And I will be obedient on the Lord. I'm going to be answering a couple questions today. Some really good questions. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Okay, we're going to read this entire chapter. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Oh, excuse me. Give a portion to seven and also to eight. For thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. He that observeth the wind shall not sow. And he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. Verse 6. In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand. For thou knowest not whether shall prosper either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Truly the light is sweet, and a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun, S-U-N. But if a man live many years, and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. All that cometh is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth. And walk in the ways of thine heart. And in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou. That for all these things. God will bring thee into judgment. For every one of us shall give an account of himself. Unto God. We who are saved at the judgment seat of Christ. Those of you who are lost at the great white throne of judgment. We're not getting away with anything. We're all going to be held accountable. Whether is it whether it's for those of us who are saved at the judgment seat of Christ or at the great white throne of judgment. Which one are you going to be at? Verse 10. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart and put away evil from thy flesh. Put away evil from thy flesh. For childhood and youth are vanity. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Give a portion to seven and also to eight. For thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. Couple that with verse 6 of verse 5 and 6. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, or how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand. For thou knowest not whether shall prosper either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Interesting, huh? And look at verse 3 under verse 4. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall toward the south, fall, and if the tree fall toward the south or toward the north, in the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. He that observeth the wind shall not sow. And he that regardeth the cloud shall not reap. 
Go to Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. We will be reading in Mark chapter 4, verses 1 on to verse 29. We begin at Mark chapter 4, verses 1 on to verse 29. And he began again to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. And the whole multitude was, was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow, and it came to pass as he sowed. Some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched. And because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yield no, yielded no fruit. Another fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprung up, that sprang up, and increased, and brought forth some thirty, some sixty, some an hundred. And he said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Now, and when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. In seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted. And their sins should be forgiven them. Be converted. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word. And these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. And taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground. Who when they have heard the word. Immediately receive it with gladness. And have no root in themselves. And so endure but for a time. Afterward when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake. Immediately. They are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things, entering in. Choke the word. And it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth some thirtyfold, some sixty, some an hundred. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or a bed or under a bed and not to be set on a candlestick? For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifest. Neither was anything kept secret, but that it should be that it should come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear, with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath to him shall be given, those of you who are saved, and he that hath not. For him shall be taken even that which he hath, professing themselves to be wise. They became fools. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground. 
and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself. First the blade, then the ear. After that the corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Now, what does this mean? Look back at Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Give a portion to seven, and also to eight. For thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. Okay, Ecclesiastes now also, verses five and six. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. In the morning sow thy seed, and in the evening withhold not thine hand, for thou knowest not whether shall prosper, either this or that, whether they both shall be alike good. Back to Mark chapter 4, verse 26, on to verse 29. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground. What is the seed? Verse 14, The sower soweth the word. Cast thy bread upon the waters. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Okay? The waters are likened in the book of Revelation unto people. The horse sitteth upon many waters, and the waters are likened unto people. Okay? Cast thy bread, the word of God, upon the waters, among, uh, among many people. Okay? Verse 26 again, and he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep, and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how. He knoweth not how. We don't know what the Lord, what the word of God is going to do that the Lord will have us to speak. Onto said person, spirit, soul, and body. Okay? And to prove that to you, go to 1 Corinthians now. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Excuse me. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Okay? 1 First Corinthians chapter three, verses one under verse seven. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as, as unto spiritual, but unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither now, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers, get a load of this, but ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted. I have planted. Apollos water. But God. Gave the increase. So then. Neither is he that planteth anything. Neither he that watereth. But God. That giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own labor according, shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Let's read verse 9. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. 
ye are God's building, if you are saved and born again, of course. But see, the, what is being talked about here in Ecclesiastes and in Mark about casting thy bread upon the waters, okay? We today, in this dispensation of time of the Gentiles, Church of the Living God, the sower soweth the word, planting seeds. That is what we are to do today as the Church of the Living God. Every single one of you have been given the ministry of reconciliation. Okay? It doesn't matter your capacity to give seed, to plant seed, but God giveth the increase. So here in Ecclesiastes where it says, cast thy bread upon the waters, okay? The sower soweth the word, or the sower, the sower soweth the word, but God giveth the increase. We as a church of the living God, we are to sow the word, to plant seeds. What do you think tracting is about? The Lord orchestrates a, a circumstance for you. Do you always carry a sword with you? Huh? So in any given moment, the Lord could use you to be his mouthpiece, to speak the word unto whomever he put before you? Casting thy bread upon the waters. See? The sower goeth forth, you know, sowing seed. Okay, but God giveth the increase because you don't know what the Lord is going to do with that seed sown. You, me, I don't know. The Lord knoweth because it is God who giveth the increase seed. You don't know. But with that little grain of a mustard seed, the Lord is going to do in the heart of that individual. And what that was sown, which is why we looked at the one that was sown on stony ground um, and among thorns. You know, immediately you, they receive it with joy, but when persecution comes, they're offended, having no root in themselves. Or they receive the word, but the cares of this world come and choke the word that it become unfruitful. See, we don't know what the Lord is going to do. With what is sown in their hearts. We don't know. Because it is God who giveth the increase. See? But also I want to touch on. Verses 3 and 4. In Ecclesiastes here. Okay. Chapter 11. If the clouds be full of rain. They empty themselves upon the earth. Okay. And if the tree fall toward the south. Or toward the north. In the place where the tree falleth, there it shall be. Wherever the Lord will allow that tree to fall, there it's where it's going to be. Wherever the clouds are, the rain is going to uh, be upon the earth, wherever the Lord will have it to be. He that observeth the wind shall not sow. Wind, air, going through your fingers. He that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. Are you of the church of the living God looking for the blessed hope, the catching way of the church of the living God before the time of Jacob's trouble? Excuse me. The catching way of the body of Christ before the time of Jacob's trouble? And you're looking, as Brother Brian says, for the catching way to be a bailout? And sitting on your lees, doing nothing, just waiting for the Lord to Catch us up doing nothing. See? He that observeth the wind shall not sow. And he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. Dear brethren, do something for the Lord. Sow seed, tracting, whatever it is the Lord will have you to do. Seek him because it is God who giveth the increase. 
So where it says in Ecclesiastes, cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. You get it? You get it? Okay. Neither, what does it say here? As thou knowest not what, in verse 5, as thou knowest not what is the way of the Spirit, or how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of God who make the fall. I have no idea, with all the tracks that me and my wife have put out there in abundance, we don't know if someone is going to read that tract and be cut to the heart and be cut to search the scriptures. Go to Brother Brian's channel or to my channel or wherever to seek. We don't know. We don't know what the Lord is going to do with that. He does because it is God who giveth the increase. So we, as a church of the living God, are to cast our bread upon the waters. We are to continue to go out there and sow seeds. Okay? Because it is God who giveth the increase. See, like it says again in Mark chapter 4. Go back there. Mark chapter 4. Okay? Verses 26 and 27. And he said, so is the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed into the ground, sowing the word, okay, and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring up, should grow up, and the seed should spring and grow up. Thank you, pardon. He knoweth not how. So, brother, who asked, uh, asked me of this, casting thy bread upon the waters, for us today. And notice that we're looked, we have looked in Mark and Ecclesiastes, but we also looked in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Okay. Mark chapter 4, doctrinally, the Old Testament under the law. Ecclesiastes, bloop, doctrinally, under the law. Yes. Yes. Instruct us for righteous, in righteousness for today. Again, you and I, have been given the ministry of reconciliation. In whatever capacity you are in, you are to shew forth what the Lord has done for you. Glorifying the Lord, not yourself. Okay? We are to go out. So see. And the scriptures tell us to be instant in season and out of season. Again, when you leave your house, do you carry a sword with you? Check this out. Oh, I don't have this in, in our bedrooms. But I have um, a small copy of the scriptures that I take with me everywhere. That's about the size of my hand at Cambridge. Okay. Never leave home without it. Because we never know when the Lord is going to orchestrate something that he is going to use for his glory. See? So we need to be prepared. Be instant in season, out of season. If you have tracks, good ones, keep them on you. Because you never know what the Lord is going to do with that tiny mustard seed. Keep the scriptures on you at all times. Because you never know when the Lord is going to orchestrate a circumstance and seeking to use you as his mouthpiece. Okay? So, casting thy bread upon the waters is likened, likened onto us sowing seed. Because the Lord will be the one who gives the increase. Okay? Okay? And also, as we saw, you need to be doing something. You can't just sit there waiting for the bailout of the catching away. 
You can't just sit there. You have to put legs in your prayers. You don't just sit there and wait for things to fall from heaven. No. Remember, the Lord said unto the children of Israel in the book of Numbers, that there's the promised land that I'm giving to you. Trust me, I'm going to give it to you, but you go get it. I'm going to be with you. Go get it. But they didn't because they didn't trust the Lord that he would be with them to give them the promised land. Remember, 40 days they went to spy out the land. And after that, 40 years in the wilderness. So, brethren, time is short. Really bad things are coming. Get off your duff and do something. Don't just be idle. So or so with the word. What does it say there? In Mark chapter 4, verse 14, the sower soweth the word. The authorized version of the scripture. Hopefully that answers your question, brother, who asked me this. That is going to be it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Stop. I'm on stop. <laughs>